Hello and welcome to the HiDoc YouTube channel. One of the questions I get all the time is where can I download uh, whatever uh, piece of Microsoft software, old software, uh, whatever we don't offer through our download tool, uh, which might be old versions of Windows, Windows XP, Windows Vista, might be Windows Server, uh, Windows Server 2019, or older versions, might be Microsoft Office, um, or anything else. So let me show you uh, today where to find virus-free, malware-free downloads uh, and how to make sure um, that they're in fact virus-free. So Microsoft operates this download site here, myvisualstudio.com. Um, normal users don't have access to it. I don't have access to it either. Um, but what you can do here is search, for example, Windows Server 2019. And the only piece of software I have access to here is the language pack. So I, I can't use that. I, I want to have the real uh, Windows Server 2019 full version. Um, so if I click here, it gives me all the file information here. What you don't see here in, on this site is it actually has information on a lot more downloads than just this Windows Server 2019 language pack. Uh, in the background, it has access to to loads and loads of Microsoft software, um, not to the downloads, but to the file information. And that's what I all collected in this database here. So this has more than 50,000 um, downloads or um, pieces of file information right now. Um, and you can use this file information to find your downloads on the Internet. It, might be saved by some download sites um, in some places in, in the world where Microsoft can't take it down, um, but on the other hand, where people might insert malware or viruses into the into the download. So we want to make sure to get clean downloads that don't harm your computer. Um, and that's what the what the hashes are used for. Here is the hash for the um, language pack. And here, let's go to Windows Server 2019. So you see here loads and loads of Windows um, software, various versions and editions. So let's go to Windows Server 2019. Let's look for it in English. And it has all the important information here, the file name, the file size, and the hash. To find a clean download, um, the easiest thing is to do is to search on Google for the hash or for the file name. So I take this file name, paste it into this Google custom search box here, and let Google do its thing, and it gives me this website here. And on that site, if I search for this file name here, I get two links with this download. So they're quite large, but once you've downloaded them, the thing to do is to, to match the hash of your download with the hash from our archive. And if these agree, then you can be reasonably sure that you've got a clean download without malware. So I've already downloaded a bit of uh, software here. Um, Windows XP and Microsoft DOS uh, 6 and Windows 3. So let's match the Windows XP hash um, as an example. I've installed on my computer 7-zip. Uh, this software can calculate the hash of any file you've got on your computer. So it adds these two entries to your uh, context menu. Let's get the hash here. We've got the hash of the file I downloaded, and what we need now is the, the original hash from Windows XP to match these two. So this is available. Um, it's available in our archive. Uh, Windows XP Professional with Service Pack 3, that's the newest one. Uh, 
and the hash no that's not good let's move that window somewhere else yeah on the first site it looks it looks good. I checked beforehand on um, each individual uh, number here and letter. It, uh, it's equal, so this download is clean. And just to make sure this is still available, let's try this again. And the site where I downloaded this this Windows XP from. Uh, is still here, so um, many many different Windows XP versions here. That's the one I downloaded, and it's clean. So I downloaded Microsoft DOS and uh, Windows 3.1 here as well. Um, installed these in um, installed these in a Hyper-V machine just to show that these are still working, these old versions. So it's starting MS-DOS. So people of my generation sh uh, still remember these uh, boot screens, MS-DOS boot screens. So installing these old versions in Hyper-V actually works, so you can still work with them. Um, on MS-DOS, not many programs work. This one does. So the old generation still remembers these things. Let's run that. So anything with more um, graphics requirements on MS-DOS uh, doesn't work in the um, in the Hyper Hyper-V. Um, so you would need some some other virtualization software like DOSBox. If you're interested in these things, uh, let me know in the comments and um, I'll do some retro computing videos. Uh, I've got loads of old software still in, um, in my bedroom. So as you can see, this still works. Um, you can throw the, the bananas. Uh, let's go angle 60, velocity 20, and the gorilla throws the banana almost hit myself here. So, um, finally, let me show you the, the winner of the Windows 7 version from the last video from the, from the giveaway. Uh, I'm glad it's a fellow blogger here. It's Ashwin Karthik from the um, Android Pure blog. So this key will go to India. Um, Ashwin, I, I'm going to send you, I'm going to get in touch on Facebook and I will send you the key once I have your address. And again, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, have a great week and see you soon. Bye-bye.